Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Robert Strong and I am a professional magician. I got into magic when I was 12 years old because, well, the magic tricks are awesome. <laughs> and it's 35 years later and I have to admit, they're still pretty freaking cool. Now, magic is the only form of communication that demands your full focus and attention. You cannot glance down to your smartphone and look back up and enjoy a magic trick. So for the next few moments, I'm going to ask for your complete focus and attention. Now, here's a picture of me harnessing all the powers of the universe to create mystery, wonder, and awe for all of you. Yes. I spent the cup, first couple years of magic just loving the tricks, and I realized after a few years, it's not about the magic tricks. It's about the emotional connection and the reaction it creates for other people. Let me show you. This is from my point of view. This is last year's TEDx San Francisco. You can see people enjoying themselves, laughing, a little bit of silliness. This is a good one. You see engagement, you see happiness, joy, and this one I call perplexed resentment. <laughs> but what a magician is really going for as a reaction from the audience is this, a full-on gasp. This person's completely in that moment. She is unaware of everything that's going on around her. She's unaware that she's surrounded by six engineers who have no idea how the magic trick works. <laughs> so studies have shown that when you create an incredible experience, something out of the ordinary for other people, people will remember that experience more accurately. Not only will they remember that experience more accurately, they're going to remember it for a longer period of time. And studies have shown that they will also share that experience with more people. Now, the secret to magic, without revealing any tricks, is that magicians are always two steps ahead of their audience. They think about the space that they want to perform in. They think about who the audience is and how to create a magic moment to create delight. And today, we're going to talk about creating delight for other people. And I'm going to demonstrate now by calculating how many smiles I might create in a lifetime. Hello, front row. May I borrow your smartphone? Who's got a smartphone? <laughs> Excellent. Is this uh, the iPhone 10? No? Oh, I th oh, there's a red light. I think you're getting a message or something right now. Can I borrow your iPhone? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is an iPhone 10. Wow, can I borrow your iPhone? Or I don't want a 10. I just don't know how to use the 10s. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to figure it out. Maybe you're going to help me. So I got to tap the screen. Is that right? Oh, 2566. Six. <laughs> 2566. Six. <laughs> Hashtag change your password. <laughs> I even got it right. 2566. Six. I'm in. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the shortcut screen here and open up your calculator. You have a number in your calculator. That number is 74.1. May I clear that out or do you need that number? Okay. <laughs> just checking. Hello in the front row. I want you to come up with a uh, four or five digit number, and this number is supposed to represent the number of magic shows I might do in a lifetime. Make it a specific number, not a round number. 8283. 8283. I hope I get to do that many shows in a lifetime. Multiply. Are you in the front row? I, what? 12? I was going to ask how many audience members do you think are on an average show? <laughs> and it's going to be 12. <laughs> I hit multiply again. Whose phone? Multiply. Yours? I want you to think about the number of smiles that I might create in one audience member in a one-hour show. Don't let me see it. Keep it a secret. Place it into the calculator and then hit equals. You should have a big number, yes? yes. What is that big number? Oh, wait, 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 you're going too fast. Six million. Six hundred fifty-two thousand. Four forty-two. So that's six million six hundred fifty-two thousand four hundred forty-two. Wow, that's a big number. I hope I get to create that many smiles in my lifetime. Now I want everyone to take a deep breath and think about something you're passionate about, something you love doing. And how to turn that into something you do for other people. It could be math and science. It could be music and dance. It can be sports and athletics. And here's how you do it for other people. By performing and presenting like what I'm doing today. 
by uh, mentoring and teaching, by volunteering, by donating your money and your time. And this is the cool part. Studies have shown that when you do for other people, there's immense benefits for yourself. For example, it lowers your heart rate. It reduces stress. It reduces chronic pain. It increases your life expectancy. It gives you meaning and purpose in life. And altruism is contagious. Let's face it. If we're going through life doing something we already love, and we're sharing it with other people, we're doing more than creating 6,652,000 442 smiles, we're making real magic. Six million. Six hundred. Fifty. Two thousand. Four hundred. Forty. 